Scrolling Effects is a Square Kicker tool that allows you to create animations on Squarespace websites triggered by the user's scroll position on the page. This adds an extra layer of interactions and engagement to your website. If you haven't already watched the first tutorial on how to create scrolling animations on Squarespace, head back and watch that before you continue, as I'll skip over most of the basics for how to use scrolling effects. In this video, I'll go over how to use scrolling effects custom timeline. This custom timeline allows you to specify different animation properties for different points on your screen. This allows you to create multi-stage animations that change over the course of a user's scroll position. Say you want to use a shape block as a background and fade this in quickly to change the background color of a section. Maybe you want a series of blocks that scroll horizontally at different timings. With the Scrolling Effects custom timeline, you can do all of this and more. So let's open up Scrolling Effects on a block. As you'll remember from our first video, you can see my block scrolling on this simple timeline while it's traveling vertically on the screen. When I enable an effect on this timeline, I can select the intensity of this effect as the block enters and leaves the screen. But when the block reaches the center of the screen, the block will arrive at its original position or the design before any effect was added. When you toggle the custom timeline on, you're immediately presented with new timeline options. Just as before, you can see your block moving on this timeline, but now you have the ability to select a new center point for your animation. So instead of your block only reaching the center of the screen, which is 50%, it now goes to 40%, which is your new center for your design. And you can pause the center point for as long as you want. In this example, the center animation for my block is now between 40 and 60% of my screen. You can also choose on your timeline where your block's animation starts and ends. When you enable an effect, this is where a lot of the custom control comes in. Before when you only chose how an animation effect started or ended, with the custom timeline enabled, you can select the amount of animation for when your block reaches the center of your timeline as well. You can see that when your block starts at 0% or the bottom of your screen, this vertical effect will scroll from the position of 25%, which in this case is 25% from its original position all the way to the center, which is 0%. If we look back at our custom timeline, we can see the entry effect here, which is between 0 and 40% of the screen. But now this block will hold the value for the center effect once it reaches 60%, we can then select an exit animation, which is minus 25% or 25% above the original position of this block while this block exits the screen. You can change the length for the center of the timeline by dragging the timeline anchor points. You can merge these points as well by dragging them together to create a single center point for your effect. By setting your center and exit value as the same, you can create one continuous animation that plays throughout the length of your timeline. To separate your center points again, hover over the center anchor and click on the dot below to open up the center of your timeline. For this design, I'm going to set a vertical motion effect with an entry of 25% and an exit of minus 25% and leave my center value at zero. I'll also enable the opacity effect and bring the opacity down to 0%. This is so that my image fades in, but then as it leaves the screen, I want to keep the opacity at 100% for my exit effect so it doesn't fade away. And now I want my next block to have this same animation as well. But instead of recreating this again on the block below, I'm going to turn this into a preset. I'm going to call this preset Parallax Scrolling Slow. I want to make my next three images similar, but it moves slightly faster. So I'll duplicate this and create a new preset and call it something slightly different.
Once I've modified my preset, I can now quickly head to my other blocks and apply this preset to them as well. So now as you can see here, I have a group of blocks that are scrolling with smooth animation at different speeds while also fading into view. Now it's your turn. With the power of scrolling effects at your fingertips, you can bring your designs to life and create next level interactive websites that would otherwise only be possible with hours of complex code. The only limit is your imagination. So let's Squake Kicker open up your ideas and explore a whole new way of design.